YouTube, how the heck you doing? I'm doing great and welcome to Tutorial Tuesday. It's going to be a little different today. It's not actually a tutorial, but uh, a way to get you set up for a tutorial that's coming up. And that is doing uh, photo compositing. And I want to be doing that in the future for you guys, showing you how to do that in Photoshop and perhaps some other programs, but mainly Photoshop. And so what I did today was go out and with my camera, my 60 still running Magic Lantern. We're still going to be covering some of those too in uh, future updates and future vlogs that are going to be running for you guys. But today I wanted to show you how to grab some uh, composite pictures for yourself. You don't need to have a stock photography uh, subscription or go to the free ones. Uh, sometimes those do help for the ideas that you have to do a composite and you just can't get that type of picture in your area or in your uh, place that you live so you would need to go to a stock photography or something free or find it on the internet but uh, if it is someone else's work please give them credit for that but what I want to do to cover today is uh, just grabbing your own so I went to uh, the local area here we had some major snow uh, over the last uh, couple hours or so uh, five inches so it's not major snow but we had some snow so we had some good coverage out in the wilderness there so I went to some local areas that I knew I could get some photos uh, that I probably would like to use in compositing and those were uh, just uh, your standard ones nothing really great as far as that but I just want to get specific on a few things that I wanted to capture in uh, upcoming composites that I want to do or something in the future so here I just stopped off at a uh, little area f near my shopping area it's a pond that's uh, usually uh, pretty well inhabited by frogs and stuff but given winter time there's nothing there so I picked up some uh, nice area shots of the snow covered grass snow covered trees uh, the sky was nice and blue with some clouds so I got those uh, picked up in there I could use those clouds in the future also uh, if I wanted to it didn't have to be that specific scene uh, as I went on some other areas I would grab some images of some of the grass that was really standing out and with the snow there I wouldn't have to worry about cutting out the background because it's a white background that subject was really standing out so I can use that easily in the upcoming composites then I just uh, moved on did some tree lines uh, some uh, more trees over in another area that I stopped in the sky was still blue I was walking around in the snow different angles different views up low uh, even of the same subject got a nice silhouette of a tree here so I can see how the shadow hits on the snow and how it kind of goes over and stuff and that's going to help me with my drawing too like I said I like to do drawing I like to do photography so this kind of helps you in both areas if you like to do one or the other or both like myself uh, I was able to get down get some uh, shots of footprints and snow that hadn't been recent so it did have some overflow over coverage uh, that could help me in a composite that can help me in my drawing as, as far as how that snow reacts to footprints and over drifting up wind and stuff like that uh, continued on did some more shadows got a shadow of uh, some branches hitting along the snow there uh, I can use that in the future too so you want to look at everything you want to be out there you don't have to have anything specific in mind on what you want to do in a composite or in your art as far as that is if you're going to be drawing uh, I got a nice shot of the frozen lake here it's got some trees and some clouds in the background so that could be a nice photo that I'll do as a composite that could be a nice illustration that I use in a background uh, for a, uh, illustration I do for tutorial Tuesday coming up so think about everything look at all the aspects think of the cloud uh, forms that you see think of how the trees are reflecting how they're throwing shadows uh, as I move down I know I got some textures on just a log that was covered with some snow it was uh, it was nothing spectacular really it showed the nice uh, grain of the log coming out from under the snow and how it reacts to that how it uh, would peek out from under the flakes of snow and the little crystallization that was going on around the edges and everything so look at everything I mean anything you want to take a picture of 
it's going to be there. It's your own reference. You don't have to give credit to anyone because it's something that you took, something that's in your mind and been accumulating as far as what you want to do in a composite and everything. Just try to get out. It doesn't have to be a 60 camera. It does, uh, could be your iPhone, could be an Android phone. I use both all the time. And a lot of times I'll be at a site and I see something I, you know, really like to look at and I think I want to draw it later on and I get home and I'm like, oh, I could have, I should draw that. And I'm like, oh, I could have took a quick picture or I should have had my pad of paper with me to do a quick sketch of something. But try to have something with you at all times. Uh, your phone is always with you in this world, in, in this time. Your phone is always with your pocket or wherever you may keep it. And it has a camera that has technology that is probably more than you'll need. This from your simple snapshot, I mean you can get up close. You'll have to get up close on a lot of subjects that you want to take a picture of because phones don't have interchangeable lenses that you can zoom in and out of. I was going in and out. This is the uh, 24 to 105 uh, on my 60. So I was going in and out all the time throughout the photo session that I was doing earlier today. So keep that in mind. Try to get some uh, composites together. Think of what you want to put together. I'm going to see what I can do with the ones I took out today. I'll probably end up pulling a few from the internet, from stock photography, it's free and such. And I'll try to get those up to you on uh, down in the description or when this composite comes together. So keep that in mind. Hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of how to get your own composites. Think outside the box. Try to envision what you want to do in the composite in your head. And then go out and see if you can grab those on your own. Grab that picture here. Grab that texture there. Any kind of thing that will help you do that composite. Even if it's just to see how it all fits together. Say a shadow hitting a certain uh, texture. A shadow going up a wall. Because as you create that composite, you're going to have drop shadows and stuff going along surfaces. Going up walls. And if, and if you don't show that realistically in your photo... Uh, it's not going to come off as a, a nice photo. It's not going to come out as a nice composite. So keep that in mind, guys. Have a good time grabbing those, and I'll see you on the next Tutorial Tuesday. Will it be the composite? Possibly. Otherwise, I'll be bringing you something else on Tutorial Tuesday, but I'll see you next time. Have a good one.